Hello, family. Are you thinking about social distancing? You're thinking about school closure? And what comes to your mind is, how am I going to keep my children productive and healthy? Don't worry. We are in this together and we are going to pull through together. Yes, we will pull through together. So in today's video, I want to talk about different ways in which we can keep our children productive and healthy in this stay-at-home experience. Once again, this is Modupe Show Day. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you. I do not take you for granted. I love children. I love to work with children. I love to see them healthy. Yes, I do. So, like I said, we want to talk about ways in which we can keep them productive and healthy as we stay at home for the next couple of weeks. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have a structure for them. This structure, you are going to create it with them. You create a daily schedule with them. When you create this daily schedule with them, it helps them to stay on task and to follow through with them. In this schedule, you want to have a chunk of time for book work. You want them to be able to do a lot of things with their books. I want us to use online resources, but for the major part of it, let them work with their textbooks, with their paper and pen. We don't want them to be on the screen for the entire day. So let them use their textbooks, let them use paper and pen to do most of their activities. You know, they're always coming back for food. They're always hungry, like my own. They're always coming back, mommy, can I have a snack? Can I have a snack? So you want to have a salad bowl, a food salad bowl on the side for them. So when they come for snack, you can, all, you can always encourage them to take from the food salad bowl. With that, you are sure that they are getting something healthy as their snacks. They can still have their sweet on the side. That's okay. But that salad bowl is very handy for you. Another thing you want to do is you want to have like a meal plan for them. If you have a meal plan for them, it's easy for you to be intentional about the types of food you feed them with. Yes. And for this meal plan, also make sure they have a say. They have their own ideas to the meal plan. Yes, it's always good. And when it's time to make those yummy meals, call them to the kitchen. Let them help you to cook the meal. Let them help you. Because as they do that, they are learning how to cook and they are also getting engaged for the day. So it's a two-in-one experience for them. Don't do all the cookings by yourself. If they are old enough to help you, encourage them to come to the kitchen and help you. And they have fun and then also learn how to cook. Most importantly, make sure you are consistent with all of your plans. If you have to deviate from the plan, that's okay. But for the major part of it, make sure you are consistent with your plan. I want to suggest that you encourage them to do DPA every hour or every two to hours. DPA is daily physical activity. Let them have time to stretch their bodies, to walk around, to jump. You can do that with them too. Have fun with them. Yes, have fun with them. Play games with them. Bible game. You know, search for games that you could play with them and make sure you have time to play with them. This stay at home is for a reason. It's going to help family to actually bond. They are spending time with each other. So if you have any suggestions, any idea you want to add to this video, please make sure you drop it in the comment section. And God bless you. Before I go, I want to say thank you to all of my family members that reached out to me after the last video. Thank you so much for your words of encouragement. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your ideas, for your thinking. 
I will surely incorporate them into the next video about social skills. Once again, thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Make sure you can click the subscribe button and share the video with your contact. God bless you as you do so. Bye and I love you.